Okay. Um, Wanakam and good afternoon. Okay. Uh, mostly last presenter is a victim of the presentation <laughs> because you have to excuse your presentation as well as you have to deliver whatever you want to deliver as planned. But I try to buy one o'clock. Just that's our lunch time, eh? <laughs> Okay. So let me use my wife. So wife means it's not a human wife. This is my witch invited forever. Okay? So I can see everybody holding their handphones, <coughs> smartphones. So basically uh, my presentation, how do you integrate these devices into your teaching and learning? Okay, first of all, uh, as a teacher, our main barrier or main challenge is integrate mindset of students. As our guest speaker, Prof. Uh, Rahana said, uh, when she started to teach, she can see some, you know, yawning like a crocodile, okay, and some getting sleep, and that is a major challenge. So how do we can uh, integrate them? And only few people integrate the mindset of the human being, okay. For example, Nelson Mandela, he can integrate, okay. Mahatma Gandhi, he can integrate, and one more, Adolf Hitler, he can integrate mindset. They are good leaders. Okay, Hitler is not a dictator. Okay, he's a leader. Okay, okay. Um, that's the most important thing. So, basically, my one is Kahoot. Okay, Kahoot. I think our friend from Pakistan is very familiar with the Kahoot. Are you from Pakistan, sir? Uh, Kahoot is one of the places in Pakistan. Okay, uh, Punjab, small village. I'm mistaken. But that Kahoot is not this Kahoot. Okay, this Kahoot is game for teaching and learning. Okay. Okay. Before I proceed, uh, or share my knowledge on Kahoot. Okay. Uh, just now, uh, Doctor Ajwani mentioned about gamification. Am I right? Playing a game. Uh, basically, game plus technology. How do we use these devices to integrate our teaching okay, materials? Okay. So first quote. Okay. You can see here. Tell me and I forget. We are telling. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. That is our buzzword, learning. And another one, and don't treat our student as a student. Please treat them as a learner. They are learners and we are sub-learners. We are learning from them also. Okay. So that's a keyword from Benjamin Franklin. So. I took this word and this one related to my Kahoot Electrify Your Class with the Game Based Classroom Response System. Okay, that's the thing. And as said by three speakers, Prof. MB, also my inspiration, you can see, you just go and Google Prof. Uh, MB, E M B I, am I right? Okay, you can see a lot of materials from him freely available such a passionate person free okay even in the business okay as a business lecturer in the business there is no free toilet okay that is a quote you know in the business there is no free toilet but this person okay professor mb delivered everything free you can go to script slide share and you just get it when you look at it you know what you are going to do just in a single view that's the beauty of uh, slides and some materials provided by Prof. MB, so you can have it. Okay, so what is Kahoot? Okay, so most of the materials I took from a website, okay, Kahoot is a game. Okay, how do you integrate your teaching and learning in a game basis? Okay, it's a very fun game and you can easily integrate mindset. I can show it to you in the end of the session, how did I integrate my students mindset when come to the game you can see regardless of ethnic regardless of gender you can see they are communicating each other in order to get something from others okay so a game based classroom response system of course game what is response system response mean normally response sometimes you know our response to the teaching is after the class but this response is a real time 
the moment you display your quiz here, or your questions, your discussion, you can see immediately the result from the student. They can play with you immediately. It's a real time. Okay, that is Kahoot. Okay, so a game-based classroom response system. Okay, and this platform offers educators engaging way to test the learning and knowledge of their learners or students. Okay, for me, it's learners. I'm learning from my students a lot. They are better than me. Okay, most of them better than me. Okay, and can be done on any smart device or computer. Smart device means, as I said, wife. Okay, which invited forever. Okay, every time you know when people ask question, definitely you will open your smartphone and ask for the answer. Am I right or not? And our brother Google and Yahoo will tell the answer. Okay, definitely our siblings. Okay, daily siblings, not biological siblings. Okay, technology based siblings. Okay, so this one a game based classroom response system. It can be for schools, it can be for universities and business. Okay, let me share uh, the major barrier. When I uh, display this one to one of my friends, he said, "You are like a teacher, like you are train, uh, you are giving training to the school children." He said, "This game is like a school game, you know. Actually, it's not. It depends on our creativity. How do you, uh, how far you are creative, the extent of creativity. So when you can adopt the creativity in this game, so you can deliver easily." That's why you know I'm always uh, all the principle when come to the new methods, as Mahatma Gandhi said. Okay, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, and they fight with you. In the end, they love you. Okay, they another word, but I just change. Okay, they love you. That's why don't keep quiet or don't stand. You know, oh, I don't want to try. No, so you have to try. Then only you know the result. It's happened to me. Okay, it's happened to me. That's why I just want to share with you. Some people really against because, uh, buddy, you are tax savvy. That's what you can do. No, you don't need to be tax savvy person. Anybody can do it. As long as you can type SMS, you can do this game in the class. Okay. If you do not know how to type SMS, don't try this one. Okay. So just type an SMS. It's like a typing an SMS. Sorry, a SMS. Okay. So what? <clears throat> I can do, you can do, and we can do. Okay, empowers educators and captivates learners. Ah, captivating is a big problem in our class. Captivating means uh, attract and ask them to involve in our class. Ah, captivating. That is a major problem. Sometimes you know it's really sorry to say this word irritating. Some students behave, and even I got quite a. Uh, uh, Sad, you know, because of some students' behavior. That is not their problem. That is our problem, actually. Okay, that is not our, their problem. Our problem. Okay, and empower educators mean by asking meaningful questions in real time. Ah, that's the thing. You are teaching. In the meantime, you can ask. I mean, upon the completion of the chapter, you can ask question through this game. I will show it to you some pictures. Then you will get some essence from. My slides and creating a social that is very important as our director said. Okay, sharing and sharing and sharing. Sharing starts from socialization. Okay, and a fun and game-like environment. Game-like environment is very important regardless of age group. Adults need a game. I'm still playing game, not a field game. Any game, computer games or whatever learning base. Okay, and flip the classroom. Ah, this is a buzzword of the today's uh, <laughs> wacana pendidikan. Okay, discourse. Flip the classroom. Okay, I have another one. When you want to learn, you have to feel like you are in a tunnel. Okay, let me give an analogy. Okay, very simple analogy. If you go to the tunnel, hippo tunnel. Okay, what you will see? You are out of the world. You are seeing the lights and the some bricks, you know, and some sometimes you know insects, something like that. You are like locked in the certain environment. After you go out, you feel like oh, I saw something there. You can recapture the images, some elements in the tunnel. Uh, learning must be like that. So you have to bring your students into the tunnel. 
don't go out of the tunnel. Then only they can learn. That's the philosophy of the teaching or learning. Okay. Okay. So that's why encouraging a loop learner to be a leader. This is a buzzword from our political leaders. Every day you can see how to make our students leader, leader, and leader. Not political leader. Okay, that is another story. Okay, this word leader means lead the people. Okay, and by empowering learners to lead, uh, empowering it means you are giving power to student to lead. In this game, you can be a learner. That's why I call myself as a sub learner. So it means. You create a game and ask your students to play a game. After that, ask them to create a quiz or game. Then you involve in the game. Then they can assess you. It's not challenging. Actually, it's a game. Okay. Then only they can like uh, involve. Okay, as Benjamin Franklin said. Okay, involve them. Okay. Um, okay. This one. Uh, game based pedagogy. Okay. Game based pedagogy. Learners to leaders. So I took this picture from Kahoot. Okay, getkahoot.com. You have to go to this website. Okay, there are so many slides that explain about the uh, how to play Kahoot in the classroom. So many. There are so many kind people. Very kind. They are giving out everything free. Okay. Okay. Learners from uh, to leaders mean so you can see the flow of the game okay learner and play and research research mean not doing research like a lab research research mean you asking question and people are answering the question it's a research actually that's why great learning always start from great questions so that's the research great learning start from a great questions so research and create again and teachers and leader it's mean they are Leaders mean not lead others. Leaders mean they are so confident with their knowledge. Whenever you ask them to teach back, they can teach. It means they are good leader plus teachers. So that's the meaning of this uh, flow. Okay, it's continuous. This one lifelong learning. Okay, this one lifelong learning. Okay, okay and how from learner to leader? Okay, this is a. a Small. Uh, it's a picture actually. It's not a text. I don't like the text. I prefer the pictures, especially the graphs and uh, something like this. 